Hello and welcome to this talk on assessment at Key Stage 4 for the Year 10 Welcome Evening. My name is Mr Keats and I'm going to talk a little bit about what, about your, what your son and daughter can expect in years 10 and then moving into year 11. So firstly, some people may not be familiar with the GCSE grading system. The numbers do broadly reflect the old grades that families may be more familiar with. The major difference is there are more grades to recognise success. So uh, nine is an A star, the top 20% of, of the old uh, A plus grades. One is like a G, five is the uh, expected grade. Note the higher challenge. We're looking for all our young people to achieve highly, to give themselves the best qualifications to take forwards to their next stage uh, in life. We've adjusted our assessment points um, two years ago. So here are the dates and they will be coming home. They are still gonna be on my child at school. That first assessment point will be at the end of November. That will be the first real opportunity to get a picture from your teachers of how your son or daughter is progressing. This is based on teacher assessment in class. Then obviously we'll have the parents consultation uh, on the 3rd of February, an opportunity to talk to your son or daughter's teacher. These will remain on Microsoft Teams after the success of holding them online in, in the last year or so. Assessment point two on the 11th of February is where we will release uh, target grades. And then assessment point three will be based on the end of year 10 mock exams as the grade which will be released. So something to really work for there. So these are the areas that we uh, report on at year 10, which many parents will be familiar with this from year nine. The target grade released, as I said, with the uh, in February was calculated by data we hold on the students and reviewed by teachers. This target grade should be aspirational, something to aim for. Um, it could be something that is spoken about at the parents' consultation at the start of February. So at the beginning of the year 10 course, they should see their current grade as their starting point. And then their, their teachers will be supporting them to develop over the course of the year. Their progress will be from outstanding to inadequate. Outstanding progress does not necessarily mean that current grade is climbing up exponentially. Every unit is requiring students to learn new content, which in itself is progress. But of course, that inadequate grade should be a real warning that things are not going well. We've also introduced, a, we've got curriculum statements in our assessment points. We want parents and carers to be aware of the content being studied and the form of assessment that is informing the teacher judgment. The final two stores, scores will reflect student engagement with learning inside and outside of the classroom. Classroom learning includes the effort made in completing tasks, listening, answering questions and all round positive participation in the lesson. Engagement with independent learning is homework and revision, as well as arriving to class with everything that is needed. This includes um, how reliable they are in meeting deadlines, ensuring that that work completed outside of class, which is even more important at Key Stage 4, is the best that it can be. All subjects, apart from those listed here, are assessed by exams at the end of their course. This makes for a great deal of exams. Teachers put a lot of time into teaching students how to answer exam questions, how to organise their time and how to prepare and revise. There will be formal exams in the summer term, their first experience of sitting in the exam hall and then mock exams in November 2022. This cohort will sit their final exams in summer 2023, which might feel like a long way away now, but believe me, it comes around pretty quick. We will be conducting some exact assessments this term and uh, by the learning support department to further assess students in need of access arrangements for their examinations. Parents will be receiving a parent mail with further information about this. So everything is there for uh, the young people in year 10. They just need to grasp it and with the support of their teachers, fulfill their potential. Importantly, they need to see assessment as an opportunity to learn more about their strengths and areas to work on. Stay on top of their workload and try to revise and revisit throughout the year. So at FRAM, uh, we are about so much more than just grades. A GCSE really is the first time a student has had to choose some of their subjects, to follow the areas they are passionate about and the lessons they're going into greater depth, tackling some big issues and hopefully learning a lot more about the world around them. If they can learn to enjoy that for its own sake, the grades will follow and they will leave here with something just as valuable as a GCSE, 
a desire to know more and to keep growing. Thank you for listening.